Okay. <laughs> what we have here for Justin Fields. This is the uh, uh, fantasy uh, hockey team, the Amityville Slashers. And uh, this is from uh, a, uh, a design that he had on his, uh, his jersey. So I had to combine uh, both the front and the back of the jersey and the feel of a jersey all in one, uh, one image. So it's kind of a more of a graphic design type of approach. But uh, I really like how it turned out. And I had to bring, uh, the, the colors were, were so um, basic, I had to really bring in some, some added colors. Uh, you know, in here on, on, the, on the, the number seven, for instance, so a nice dark gray, kind of gunmetal gray. Um, uh, accent in there but also it also has a lighter gray and a white overtone to it to make it jump um, also in here in the eyes using using kind of more of a kind of flesh tones in there for uh, what would be called your, your shadowing and also here where you got your your, your air holes your vents in the uh, in the mask uh, creating uh, kind of grays and, and then the earth tones and then a number of different whites. It's hard to tell right here, but you have one, two, three, four, uh, I think there's four, four or five different uh, colors of, of white that are in here. Uh, so it gives it a, a lot of um, uh, depth to it when you see it, especially live. Uh, here again, you know, you have uh, your, your light grays, your, your kind of earth tones, dark grays, medium grays, sort of a bluish gray, uh, all of that to give to give a little bit more of a color pop to it here in the in the seven as well. You have a uh, really light light. You have, a, you, have, you have kind of a, a, a starting base of, of sort of a fire engine red. And then on top of that one with a darker red, uh, even lighter red. And then uh, accented even with one that's almost more like a pinkish type of a color. Uh, and that's all in here as well. So it's, it's uh, sort of like almost a neonish red with a uh, little little hints of, of this kind of a, a pinkish red on top of it to, to really give it some some depth. So you can see that it you know, it, it, you, you can see how the, the, it's darker a little up here and lighter over here. So it's almost like there's a light source, uh, light sourcing to it. And then keeping sort of a little flag effect with some of the, the curl backs. But then again, you see the different, all the different layers of red in there, uh, giving it um, a really nice effect. Same thing here with the fields and, you know, doing a nice kind of uh, uh, the, your, your, your background shadow effect. Uh, instead of doing a traditional one color one, I, I came in here with a number of different colors just to just to give it some extra life that it didn't have, you know, with that, that the tans and all of that. And same thing here with the, the shadow effect that was uh, originally there from the photo made this area kind of a grayish tone. Uh, but uh, instead, I, I went with something that was more of, a, of an earthy tone with some gray to it and all of that, which gives it. Uh, um, nice uh, it gives adds a little bit more color to it uh, otherwise it would just be black red and white and uh, uh, with a little bit of gray so now it's it has all kinds of colors in there you just gotta find them thanks Justin and uh, go Amityville slashers